What is up everybody and welcome to game 152 of Let's Play Elite Champion for today's game. I'm going to be playing as Draven in the bot lane to get with an Alistair versus a Tristana Blitzcrank. So okay, I'm going to be playing Draven. Um, I've actually been playing a little bit of Draven recently and it's been going so-so. Uh, what I did discover since uh, my last Draven game that I uploaded to my channel is that of course there is actually kind of like a, a generally agreed on build that you should almost always go on Draven. And uh, it's very different to the one that I did on the, my, uh, my what was it called, my Draven Draven skin video I believe it was when like Earth came out. Or was it Earth that came out? I don't know if it was Earth that came out on the same day, but it was basically the day where everyone was wearing Draven helmets. Uh, but yeah, um, so the build is Jomo's Ghostblade into Mercurial Scimitar into Phantom Dancer into Infinity Edge or Last Whisper, depending on who's, uh, who's if, it, if there's tanky targets or not. So anyway, anyway, uh, yeah, it's actually a pretty decent build from what I've seen. Uh, what I did not know, however, was that on my mastery page for AD carry, I only had spent 12 points, so I didn't even have a keystone mastery on this account. So I, when I was playing my practice games, <laughs> I wasn't even playing with full masteries, and it was like really shitty. But uh, now, as you can see, I have masteries, so it's all good. Let's see, Aster supporting me. We got a Yasuo top lane to get it with a Malphite jungle. Oh, and Alster, and then of course my E also triggers Yasuo's ultimate. It's actually like so good. Oh, is that gonna be a kill? Okay, hang on. Okay, he's gonna grab. Yeah, he grabbed. Um, okay, well, not much happened. Uh, wow, why did Twisted Fate walk so much there? Like, he shouldn't have gone so close. Damn, if Yasuo was here with us, we probably could have killed that Bliss Crank. But, uh, yeah, we didn't do it. Anyways, uh, Tristana Bottling. So, anyways, uh, I typically wouldn't pick. Uh, Draven in a situation where there's like uh, a Kha'Zix and a Blitzcrank because the thing about Blitzcrank playing Draven into Blitzcrank is that all Draven has to do is try and catch an X and if Blitzcrank just waits properly for the moment Blitzcrank should almost never miss his hook if Draven is always trying to you know catch his axes so this is kind of like a, a downside but the reason why I Play, decided to play Draven was because among the 80 characters that have been requested that is not Ezreal, uh, Draven was there and I was like okay you know what I guess I gotta play Draven for today's game if I'm playing 80 carry so yeah when I queued up I got 80 carry instead of toppling so I was like okay I'm playing Draven today and that's pretty much how my my choosing process works I look at my request list and uh, I make sure that you know I'm actually gonna be playing a role that I didn't play the, the last video and uh, I'm playing something that was uh, that was asked for, or at least makes sense. Uh, even though Draven didn't make that much sense in this game, uh, I did feel like Draven was just going to be fun to play. So I was like, you know what, let's just play Draven since I've been practicing him a little bit. Um, and like, even though Blitzcrank is typically like not such a good idea to play against, it's not to say that you can't beat a Blitzcrank lane as Draven. It's just, it's sometimes it's just too predictable for a hook to like land properly, but there's ways around it. You can just uh, last it in a way that, wow, this guy has like no fear. Which is good. But, uh, yeah, I'm not used to it. Like, usually when you pe play with people in this ELA, like, the, the Aster plays like so far back, it's not even funny. Okay. Oh, nice. Aster actually stood in the way when, like, Blitzcrank got too close. Oh, okay. Hang on. Okay, knock them aside. Oh, wow, the Blitzcrank hook missed. I'm standing next to the Cossacks. Uh, next to the Aster so that uh, he doesn't get like the Kha'Zix doesn't get like the isolation bonus from his Q. So that was an early gank bot lane. Really strange that it happened so soon. Okay, let's just Q the the Blitz. Uh, oh, 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 hang on. Okay, let's just E here. Oh, 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 hang on. Oh, oh, wait. We should go for go for the Blitzcrank. Okay. He's the sure kill. Okay. Okay, okay, we, we got this guy, I think. Wow, really? Okay. Um. Wow, okay. Hang on. Malphite! Are you kidding me, Malphite? Okay. No, Malphite! Oh, that could have been my kills. Oh, well, whatever. That was a crazy, like, start, but... Wait, what? Like, I'm almost dead, Malphite. I should have used my pot, but I was like... He's, like, I thought Kazakh, there was no way he was gonna, like, kill me, right? 
But then I realized like Malfoy wasn't turning around to help me out with the Kha'Zix. I was like, yeah, screw this. So let, yeah, let's let's not take any risks and just go back to base now. Okay. So anyways, uh, there was actually something new that people started doing on 80 carries, and it seems to be something that people are starting doing like over every 80 carries. Basically, getting coal on your on your first back. And I think that's actually a pretty good idea because the coal, as first purchase, it doesn't really make too much sense. Like it it does actually put you behind. But if you're doing well and it's your first back. Cool is actually not a bad item at all. Like it gives you a little bit of healing each auto attack. It gives you it gives you one less AD than a Dornus Blade would have. But it gives you more gold every time you last hit. <laughs> like it's it's actually really sick to get on a second back or on a first back or a second back depends I guess. And uh you're actually doing well. Like it just snowballs your lead really well. And uh yeah, it, it just when you're playing someone like Draven who wants to get like some items finished off quickly as possible, um, it's actually really cool to have uh, coal because uh, you you kind of want to be farming your passive up anyway. How much did my passive go off for? It's 122 extra gold. It's pretty decent extra gold though. Mm, I'm I'm really glad that I didn't end up having to flash in the what's it called in the last little skirmish that we had in bottling. If I had to flash, that would that would have been really bad because flash is very important to have against Blitzcrank because sometimes Blitzcrank is actually gonna go for a flash hook, you know, or sometimes worse. Actually, what could be worse than a flash hook from Blitzcrank if you're Draven? I'm not sure. But yeah, uh, it's just good to have flash in general when you're an immobile AD carry. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, all right. So, anyways, yeah, uh, the the early the early ganked by Kha'Zix. It was really strange. I did not really expect it, but I guess it was because they're like, oh, it's Draven, we can just abuse his immobility, right? But, like, I have an Alistair right next to me. It's really hard to just get through him. I'm uh, actually really glad that my support went for Alistair. I did kind of softlock Draven, so my support did know that I was going to play Draven before I picked, before I actually got to pick him, right? So, I was actually pretty pleased with the support choice. Alistair's a really good bodyguard for someone who is immobile. Oh? Wow, he really wanted to uh, increase the damage of this bomb, but, you know, wasn't happening. <laughs> Alright, anyways, I'm not sure what could happen. Uh, Cossacks could be coming to Balin again to try and make up for the Clown Fiesta that happened. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> I'm, like, expecting, like, any moment Cossacks out of nowhere, you know? I do have my heal up in five seconds. Wow, that 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 felt really quick. It felt like it was only ten seconds ago I used my heal. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and use another Q. Now I have two spinning axes. I'm just chilling like hell. Just farming. Like <laughs> this is super chill. I don't mind this. Usually I would freak out if I'm like playing this chill against someone like Tristana, but. The thing is, Draven is really good at 1v1ing, so I don't really feel like there's going to be any point where Tristana actually can, like, uh, destroy me 1v1. I mean, there there is always the, the surprise, right? Like, there's always a surprise situation where Tristana jumps out of nowhere, hits you with all of her spells, and then kills you from really far range, right? If she's, like, that fed. But the thing is, she's not that fed yet. Oh, there he goes, the Twisted Fate Ultimate, so we can see that Cossacks is toppling. Okay. I probably could have afforded to auto-attack Blitzcrank there, so I do it there instead. Oh, M uh, Moffat is down here. Didn't even notice him <laughs> until I looked at the at the brush. Uh, I wonder if the enemy enemy balling realizes that he's there. Okay. Well, they didn't get ag uh, aggravated by me walking up to Blizzard and just auto attacking him in the face. Uh, I don't. I really don't like this. I feel like now that that Kazakh is gone. I mean, now that Blizzard is gone. Yeah, something like this could easily happen. Oh, this sucks so much. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, I guess, uh... Oh, man. Yeah, overstay. As soon as Malfi, like, was gone, it was just not a good idea to be that pushed up. When we didn't have any vision, he, like, proper vision, like, who could be coming from the jungle. And, like, Brand just walked down the river, dude. Oh, that was so lame. Whatever. At least I didn't panic and, like, use my summer spells. I died in, like, the most graceful way possible. <laughs> Never thought I would say something like that in League. But, uh, okay. Mm, let's get double daggers. Long swords. Sell this and get boots. Okay, this is kind of risky, but I, I kind of value mobility against the Blitzcrank, so let's just go to 
go to bot like this. What is Moffat doing? Is he really gonna wait all that all that time till I come to bot? Wow, he really will. Or maybe not. Yeah, that's what I thought. Kinda silly to be waiting in the brush, because I'm like kinda far away. Oof, Twist of Fate just narrowly escaped the stun. Is Moffat just gonna ult the the brand? That would be pretty sick. If he does, I could just ult as well, you know? Oh man, Brandy's got scared off. Or hang on. I'm I'm like I'm so ready to throw my ultimate towards middle. Okay, never mind. Uh, it seems like uh, Moffite has more more intentions of going in here. Oh, oh, hang on. Just yeah, the last hit is for me. Okay, that's a flash. Wait, why did you flash Moffite? Uh, well, I guess he realized it's a mistake afterwards. <laughs> yeah, like he doesn't have it. Wait, did Twisted Fate seriously one v one Brand? Oh, it was the tower dive, probably. Yeah, it was probably was a failed tower dive. Okay, sweet. Look at that. Call is forty nine stacked. Oh well, it's it's been stacked fifty one times technically. So I'm almost done with the stacking process of uh, the coal. Once you get it to, what was it, 100 stacks, once you kill 100 minions with this, you get like 300 gold immediately. That's like so beast. So much extra gold. I don't I don't want to stay around anymore. I, f I feel like Kha'Zix is coming to Bali, so I'm just going to run to the tower, please. Wait, can I? I can't even get Jumbo's right. No, I don't think so. Whatever. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> um, Alright, let's get this thing then. The call feels Warhammer and let's get boost of swiftness. Yes, we want to be really fast. Whoosh, look at that. Alright, let's look at what's going on in the middle. I'm guessing Jasso into Jax is like really boring for the poor Jasso. <laughs> He's just waiting under turret for the farm to come in. He can't like 1v1 him properly. Alright, let's go ahead and axe this, axe that, and that one. Okay, um, okay, are they actually doing dragon? What's going on here? Kind of the one over commit here. Okay, we're not doing it. We're not, we're not doing dragon. I'm, I'm going back to farming. Chill, guys. Don't do anything crazy, please. Alright, let's get this thing. How much extra gold have I gotten now? 302 extra gold. It makes me so happy to see my passive counter. Uh, let's go ahead and get that. Go ahead and keep farming. Okay, I got two spinning axes going. Not trying to get my head out of the minion wave too much, so that Blitzkrieg actually has an opportunity to to grab me. Uh, Kazu is on the way bottling. Um. Uh. Okay. Oh wait, they noticed Malphite for sure. There's no way that they suddenly backed because Alster decided to move up. <laughs> there's no way. Okay, there's a pink ward there. I don't think that's all. Oh, look, pink ward. Oh, hang on. The knockbacks. Okay, heal. Oh! Twist no, why did you knock him back? Alistar knocked Tristana away from the second part of my ultimate. My second part of my ultimate would have killed this Trist, 100%. Holy crap. Alistar saved Tristana there. I understand that he only meant well. But he messed it up. He really did. Jesus. I don't want to be mean or anything. Oh god. Oh, this is disaster. Wow. The fact that it took so long for like um this the what's it called the ultimate to hit TF was kind of a miracle. Shame that Jostle was not teleport there. Could have been pretty sick bottling fight there, but whatever. Uh dude. Uh oh man, I have no wards. I don't want to go into the What? Fog of War? Okay, whatever. Brand, no F. Lol, that stun. Like, seriously, Alistair? How did you not expect to get stunned? You're like, you're like the biggest character in League almost, and like, it's so hard to miss you. <laughs> oh, man. This game was actually kind of okay, and like, now it turned like really bad. I wonder if Alistair even noticed what he actually did with that knockback. Okay, I'm, I'm going back before. Okay. It was just uh, mind gaming me. That's cool. I'm cool with mind games as long as they don't actually get to me in the end. 
Alright. Alright, all right. Really sorry for what happened there. Uh, okay, hang on. I gotta go back. I, I don't want to take any risks. To be honest, Alistair's... Actually, I shouldn't say anything about Alistair's mistake. Because I might tilt Alistair and I don't want that. I was used to about to say what actually happened. Because, like, Malphite is taking the blame. But it was... I don't think that was actually Malphite's fault. I actually 100% think that was Alistair's random W. Like, Alistair shouldn't even have thought about Wing anymore after I did my ult. Like, he should have just let my ultimate go off, right? Twice. And instead, he, like, knocks Tristan out of ultimate second hit range. That made me so sad. But, like, other than that, like, Alistair actually has done a good job. Like, that was, like, kind of, like, his first really big fuck-up. Like, a lot of people m might think, you're overthinking this, Steve. But that fight would have been so different if Tristana actually died really quickly. Wait, what? Wait, did Alistair really use, like, ult so late? Okay, whatever. Alistair got away at least, but I, f I think that ultimate was, like, way too late. Did his ultimate just come up when, like, he, he got jumped on? Because he could have reduced a lot of damage if he used it earlier, right? Yeah, I think Alistair messed up there. Anyways, yeah, so I'm not sure what the enemy team is doing. Oh, they did Dragon. Okay, well, that's fine. The Dragon was not that great, I think. Uh-oh. No, you can't get me! Too slow. Alright, um, I'm gonna go back to base and get Jomo's Ghost played. Damn, and I was so close to getting Cole uh, stacked up fully. It's not worth staying around, though, with no mana. Uh, let's get this Jomo's. Let's get long sword. Let's get some hot pots. Yeah, the hot pots are gonna make up for the fact that I don't have a vampiric scepter yet. Okay, let's do it like this. Okay, what's going on middle? It's all good. Oh man, I'm gonna be so salty about the whole like Alster knocking back Tristana thing. Cause you saw how Tristana was, how low Tristana was after that was all over. Like that was hundred percent enough damage from my second part of my ultimate to use killer. Uh, I I just gotta let it go. Like it's not worth to just cling on to such things. Like why why couldn't it be better? You know, like if you just keep dreaming about what has already happened, like you're you're not really gonna be putting enough focus on actually winning the game at hand, right? You gotta you gotta focus on what's actually still going on. Don't get too hung up on the past. Is this? Wow, he, he Alistair mind game Tristana that we were going to dive, dive her. That actually put uh, Tristana's W on cooldown. That was actually pretty good. Because now it means Tristana is forced to use her flash if he really wants to escape, right? But it's only like a what twenty second cooldown or, yeah. Okay. Knock the blistering aside. Not gonna get Gankarino anytime soon. Oh, that pink ward. Jesus, they like pink warding. Well, they they like that pink ward in that brush. <laughs> okay, that was kind of slow by blistering. I'll have to say though. Oh, okay. Oh no, I got exhausted. Come on, dude. That's so boring. Screw you. Wait, what? Yes! The flash heal? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. I, I popped the health pod just in case we were gonna keep fighting. But, uh, yeah. I guess Tristana wasn't expecting me to f go for the kill uh, with a flash. Thank god that I actually reacted though. Uh oh, is that Cossack still here? Why is, why is Blitzcrank here? Like, it doesn't make sense why Blitzcrank wanna 1v1 me with this many minis around. It gives me the idea that someone else is here. I'm just gonna go back to base and mm, it's not actually worth getting the the QSS part just yet, so I think I'm just gonna go for like the Oh yeah, coal is already stacked up, so I can actually sell this thing. Sweet. And I can buy this and mm, Yeah, I I, sh I don't really need to get QSS yet, but I can get the non magic mental part at least. Um get the blue trinket as well. Blue Trinket early is still worth it on 80 carries that are like really vulnerable to warding, you know, like Someone like Tristana could do with having the, the yellow trinket for a longer time, but Like blue trinket is always gonna be like almost the best choice for uh, a, Like a really vulnerable carry right like that still applies 
Even more so now. Uh, oh, what's going on here? There's a pink ward here. You used to walk past it. Come on. Alright, let's just go ahead and do this. Okay, so after my Mercurial Scimitar is done, I gotta build a Phantom Dancer. It's a pretty strange build and not like very... Uh, I, I don't know how, how many people would actually build the same as Draven would. Maybe, maybe uh, Grace has the same build uh, as 80 carry Grace. But it's nice that we keep getting kills though, like what the hell. Don't have to put too much effort into uh, trying to solo carry this as Draven. But if I ever were to solo carry as AD carry, like Draven is totally the champion I would do it with. Or Kogma, but Kogma is a little bit weaker these days. Yeah, for sure. The new Ginsu's Rage Blade is like so much weaker early on than it than it used to be. Oh, okay, hang on. Are you fine? Are you fine? Okay, just auto attack. Wow, the chunks though. Holy, did you see that damage on Tristan and Blitzcrank got them both to half health with these four auto attacks? Holy, yeah, that was crazy. Hmm. Okay. One more time. Hmm. Damn, dude, it's so satisfying to hit people with the Qs. Yeah, when you get to this point, like level five Q, and uh, you've got some AD built onto you, like your 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 Qs start doing like crazy amounts of damages. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. Alster kind of gets a little bit tunnel visiony. I noticed. Like he just. Yeah, he doesn't commit. Or, well, no, no, the opposite, actually. He, com he overcommits almost. Like, he's like, he doesn't really pay attention to the fact that, you know, we don't have much vision around uh, jungle and stuff. Or, that was, even when we do, like, he seems to, like, uh, not care about actual danger. Oh, is this it? The dream? Oh. Oh, my God. Come on. Okay. Done. You gonna? No! Oh my God! Please! Oh, Tristana got a reset on her thing. Twist the fate. Oh wow! They benefited so much from that. Malphite doesn't even have ultimate. Why is he? Okay, he's he maybe gonna get a kill on the brand at least. Okay, they did, but at what cost? Please. Okay. Okay, at least one one death. That's fine. That's fine. Like it's still bad, but it's fine, right? Like, it could have been way worse. Twist of Fate could have died as well. Anyways, I didn't really like that. That was, like, so bad, dude. That was so not worth it. Um, yeah. Tristana got away. I certainly did not get enough help with, uh, what was going on. Can't believe, like, Moffa wasn't able to kill off the Trist. I guess she used all of her summoners, right? She must have. Mm. Okay, so the enemy team got two Mountain Drakes. What exactly did a Mountain Drake do? Was it the one that gives you more movement speed out of combat? I think it was. I should be able to tell once uh, we get actually one Drake. Okay, anyways, let's just start building up our gold again because, yeah, we died so we lost some stacks. But uh, Tolo, we uh, already gained like 500 gold, which is pretty cool. But yeah, that sucked. Freaking Kha'Zix out of nowhere, bursting me down. His W did a, a lot of damage. Is he maxing it out first, or does that that little AD actually increase it by that much? Should I ult here? Ult him! Okay, let's ult too. Boom! And mine too? Oh, that was gonna be so many ultimates for middle. That would have been ridiculous. Okay. Um. Okay, I, I, I gotta back away from this tower though, because I'm like, yeah. Are they gonna do anything? No, okay. Let's get left for, to defend middle, that's good. Oh, oh, I missed. Come on. Oh, really? Dude. Got that one. Okay. So nice. Uh, Blitzkrieg is actually a decent support. He decided to go back to defend the middle tower. Oh, the knockback. You said he was going to jump on my face. That was sick. Not really, but it was still okay. Alright. Alright. I guess I didn't really need Twist of Fate's help if that was going to happen every time. Okay. So, I'm going to be able to finish up my Mercurial. And then I'm going to be building my my Phantom Dancer. I'm just trying to remind myself constantly what my build is. Because usually when I'm trying something out, 
something different, I'll end up going back to like standard stuff. So yeah, okay, how much will I have left? Whoa, I will have a lot left actually. Dagger and crit gloves, yes. Alright, um, Mercurial Scimitar on this button, okay. Let's go to middle then, let's see what we can do. I'm welcome to blue moth. <laughs> how often has he been saying that now? We need to care them doing Baron, they got Jax and the two dragons. What? But I thought, oh wait, is Mountain Dragon the one that gives you more damage against stuff? Mm, I'm not sure actually. I thought that was Earth Dragon, or maybe it was Mountain Dragon. Oh, you know what? Why am I doing Skull Crab? I should be helping out topside. Oh, this could have been so big. Oh, it is going to be somewhat big. Alright, here we go. Oh, he got... <laughs> what the fuck? He stayed in... He stayed airborne for like 10 seconds flat. That was insane. Okay, so Triss's bot. Is that actually a good sign to do Baron now? I guess so. Okay, we're all here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're doing it. Holy crap. Doing it live. Oh, Triss gets turret. She probably feels victorious. But the real victory is right here. Look at that. Boom. And now I buy... I gotta go for the, the Phantom Dancer. That's right. Uh, Phantom Dancer is right here. 1,850. Okay, so I need like 700. Okay, let's go straight for bottling. Or maybe do I go get the red buff? Let's put a blue trinket here. Okay, nobody's waiting for me around the red buff at least. That would be the nightmare. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I thought a baby was gonna accidentally like drop my axe there. That would have made me sad. Okay, let's go for the minions here. Get that one. Get this one. Get that one. Get this one. Wow, my scroll button is still broken. It like randomly zooms in sometimes when I'm used like using the clicks, right? Like the right click button is the one that uh, sometimes like bumps into my scroll. So like it actually like zooms in like this all out of nowhere. It's like so sad. So sometimes I don't even realize like the game is zoomed in because I ac accidentally like uh, move the whole thing in. Not until like it gets really too close to the f to the screen. Okay, let's just go ahead and start doing this. Oh, I still can't afford my Phantom Master, but I'm like really close. Okay, push out bot. It seems like mid lane and top lane has been pushing out decently too. I'm gonna group up with my team now though before like I get assassinated. <laughs> Or before they get assassinated, it's vice versa. Like it goes either way. Like you have to group up, right? When it's time to group up, you gotta group up. Doesn't matter how good of a split pusher you think you are, you gotta, you know, put in the actual teamwork in to win a game at the end of the day. Oh oh wait. Boom! Oh no, I didn't call my ultimate back in fast enough. Oh wow, okay, this is kinda bad. Oh no! Wow, dude, wait! What? What, what, did, Mo did Muffy seriously try to 1v1 Tristana while well, there was like a bunch of people here? This is so solo queue. Like, Muffy literally left the entire team to go for an AD carry that was already like in the safe zone. Why? If Muffy had sticked with us there, we would have turned there, made it, it was a 4 versus 5. Malfoy's ultimate would have won us that fight there. He split off to get Tristana, who was like really far away from everyone else. I understand that you might get the kill there, but even if you get the kill there, it doesn't really succeed much because she was technically already dead, right? Like you don't need the gold from killing her. You just, like, oh my god, it's just there's so much wrong with what Malfoy did there. I don't, I, I really don't want to go through it. So I'm just gonna pretend it never happened and play the game. I got my Phantom Dancer at least, so that's good. Oh, by the way, um, I don't really play Dream that much these days, so I might also be a little bit bad when it comes to like positioning and stuff, because when you play Dream, positioning is super important, and sometimes you can't really get yourself out of position just because you want to act, catch an axe. So I feel like that's going to happen maybe a couple of times this game. So I'm very sorry if it happens. Uh, okay, this is... Oh, no, it's good, okay. I was going to say it's really bad, but I managed to get out of uh, Blitzcrank range just in time. Rip. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and grab this axe. Damn, the fact that my my ultimate didn't kill Triss is like really tilting almost. 
I'm not really tilted, it's just I'm, I'm a little bit bothered by like how how some small adjustments could have made like such big differences. Like the fact that even Malphite goes off for the Tristan is like really weird. I feel like in any elo that would never happen. Actually not in any elo, sorry. Like in, in the higher elos that wouldn't happen. It's just so silly. It's like if one per like if Malphite uses his AoE ultimate just to catch somebody who's pretty much Oh no, I, I shouldn't repeat myself, like this is, it just sounds like I'm, I'm holding a grudge, because I'm, I'm not really, I'm just, yeah, this game could have been quicker, basically. <laughs> Instead of being like a, a 40 minute game, this could have been like done at 30 minutes, or something. Alright, let's just go ahead and deal some damage to the turret, try to not get in range for a blistering hook, okay, nice, I, blistering hook is on cooldown actually, so, Malfa goes, wait, we at. What, Malfa? You. Okay, Malfa's ultimate is up. Poor. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, Alistair's getting freaking burnt here. Roast to uh, We. I don't think we can siege really against them. Like, it's just too much threat with, like, Blitzcrank being there. Unless this team is willing to shield a Blitzcrank hook, I'm not gonna go in for a tower auto attack. Next wave. Oh, we're actually going in next wave? Oh, this is sad. People got like freaking brand burnt. Okay, mid lane is pushing in though, so I guess that's the idea here. Oh my god, to the fate goes back. Okay, well this sucks. So much for spending time bottling. We could have just gone back a long time ago. Oh, oh, okay, hang on. This is actually, this is catch worthy. Really? He goes for the other ward. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Wow. Wow, really? Okay. <laughs> what an overkill for, for the support, but whatever, we get it. <laughs> Blitz, no F. I guess that's, that's something. Getting the kill was cool too, though. I got like 800 gold uh, total now from my passive. That's cool. Um, blue trinket here. Okay, there's Kha'Zix. He just got the blue. I'm gonna go back to base. I'm gonna go ahead and get the... Mm, armor... There is no armor in Blitzcrank yet. Only Jax has the Sunfire Cape, so I guess it's fine to just go Infinity Edge in this game. I feel like this might be stupid, but I'm still going for it. <laughs> I wanna deal my damages. Okay, let's go for the red buff. Whew, I can't believe I died four times. Usually I'm very careful when I play Draven, try to die as little as possible, but... Mm. I guess some moments were just unavoidable in this game. Nice, got my red buff really quickly there. Holy crap, the infinity edge crits when you have the Q up. So sick. Mm, okay, my team is going back from here. I guess it's not a good good thing to use. try and group up with them in bottling then. Uh, oh, pink ward. Okay, who's this? It's Blitzcranks. Okay, uh, I really don't want to walk through there. I feel like Blitzcranks is waiting there for me. <laughs> so yeah, let's take the safe way around. Let's take the really pussy way. I'm gonna ask for help because they're gonna push in middle tower, right? Okay, whatever. Let's just start charging up the spinning axes. Okay, well, <laughs> let's start charging up my spinning axes. Fucking drop it immediately. Great. Okay, I was hoping I could like bait out a spell from Brand if I just walk up to him with my W, but no. Patient. Okay, Yasuo's just gonna get rid of that ward. Nice. Okay, Blitzcrank's gonna wanna ward again. Damn, we don't have like a Blitzcrank character or Trash or anything, so like we couldn't make a catch there. Okay, so. Oh wow, they're just gonna take our middle tower, dude. Oh, that was sucky. That that was like really free for them. Holy crap! Okay, that that's just on a caught out. Yes, nice one, TF. Uh, okay, so that's four versus five. Mm. Okay, are we? Oh yeah, okay. Mid inhib is open. Forgot about that. Come on, come on, come on. Let's walk up, walk up, walk up. Okay. 
Or there? Maybe there? Okay, now it became a bad idea. Oh, I thought Yasuo's gonna actually ult that, but it would have been a bad idea. Oh, that was a sick Yasuo wombo combo dumbo. Oh shit! Please! Okay. I'm gonna heal the TF just in case he dies. Okay, okay, I think I think we may make it out. We're all gonna make it. <laughs> okay, so Moffa gets pulled and immediately ults when he's when he's like in full range of everybody. Oh hang on, let's help the TF. Okay, whatever. Didn't really help him much, but at least we got a kill, right? Uh wow, I'm being shot down with this damn turret. Come on. Oh nice. The wall from Yasuo. It's not really gonna block Brand's W, but you know <laughs> anything helps. Okay, let's just go hit up some minions with Q. Jasso wants to keep pushing Toblin, but they're gonna be back in six seconds. It's not worth it, I think. Um Okay, well, they're back now. Uh yeah, we should go back now. This is so overstay. Holy crap, Alice is like forced to um Oh the it didn't hit on the way back. Okay. I just gotta make sure I don't get AoE. Oh my god. Of course I get AoE as soon as I say that. Okay. Alistair's gonna have to be the sacrificial lamp. Okay. See you later, Alistair. You were a good support. I mean, you trolled me once, but I guess this is what you pay in the end. <laughs> um. Oh, I can't afford the Infinity Ash yet, right? I need, like... 200. Oh, 2300 is like super doable. Oh, yeah, I can get it like now, I think. If I use sell my Dorn's Blade. Sick. Alright, that's that's really cool. Alright, let's just get the Infinity Edge. Once I get Infinity Edge, like this game is done, so. IE ready. Mm. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'll just wait. Uh, keeping the infinite, uh, the door in his blade is like good as well. So, yeah, <laughs> saves me from selling it. With with uh, the Mercurial Scimitar, you only have ten percent life steal anyway. So, three percent life steal from Dorn's blade is actually still good. Whew. Okay, this game, like, we should be able to win this game. Like, please, team, let's let's get let's just get it together and try and end this game please <laughs> I don't want to play much longer than fucking 37 minutes is going to be now it's going like a any game over 40 minutes is like oh I, I suffer basically when it's League of Legends at least like I remember in the beginning when I when I played League of Legends I enjoyed like the really long games but then I realized you know when you play this game so much and you know what you need to do in order to win, it makes you sad when a game like lasts longer than 35 minutes because you realize like, wow, something went wrong where it could have been ended like a lot sooner. Are we really just gonna go straight for Baron? Holy crap, we really give no fucks. Usually it's the stuff like this that uh, ends up throwing games, but you know, whatever. It looks like we're just gonna get it. Nice. <laughs> we get Blitzkrieg as well. Oh, sick! And I use ult. Oh yes, no hesitation. Wait, I ended up getting the last hits on Baron? Okay. Oh no! Oh oh the knock aside. I used my QSS used to get to my target quicker. That was how cocky I was. I used QSS just for the movement speed buff. <laughs> oh my god. And then of course Jax like decides to use his stun. Please let me life still before like Tristana assassinates me. Okay, we're just gonna go uh force the tower. There we go. Damn. Alright, so anyways, that was my dreaming game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, if you did like this video, it would be nice to give it a like. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, you can always subscribe to me because I'm always trying to upload a new game daily. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. This has been Macy Rockstars, and hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next game.